Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 on Goldcrest Valley. So we're heading up to the store. It is something we do daily. We are very good customers. And we are going to buy a brand new combine harvester. I was going to sell the combine we have now. However, they're not being very generous with the price. I think the maximum we would get is probably in the region of £28,000 and that is by bringing it to the store. And £28,000 for a combine doesn't sound very good. So I think what we might do is keep hold of it for the smaller fields and then use our new one, hmm, wrong place, new harvester for the bigger fields. Now the, the harvester I had my eye on was of course a Massey Ferguson as they are one of the, the big new harvesters for 17. There is actually some Fent Combines. It's a mod, but it's an official mod by Giant, so uh, it, it'll be just as good as these ones. Anyway, the one I had my eye on was this one here, the 7347S, and it isn't horrifically expensive. It's 202,000, uh, plus the header, so yeah. We can afford it, so we're going to go for it. Keeping my eye on the money, we can't go crazy like I keep saying, but we can definitely afford a combine. Uh, is it the 25 foot for this combine or is that a bit too big? Nope, I would say that is it because that is the smallest Massey Ferguson one. Okay, so also, do we need a trailer? I'm guessing we do, yes. But here it is, our brand new combine long awaited I am so looking forward to using this sure we're lined up there we go okay oh yeah it is it's only 22 minutes past five in the morning we are very keen uh, where is it then headed trailers here we go um, Oh, I suppose we're going to have to just change the colour of this one here. Which one is Massey Ferguson Red? Oh, that is annoying. I don't know. Which one is it? Oh, no. I'll go with this one, but I might be wrong. We'll soon see. Ah, oh, it's close enough. Now. That is going to need to be moved with our pickup. No space at all to be able to get into there. So we are left with only £389,000. It sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. So we're going to have to do a bit more contracting. It's a shame we don't get as much money anymore. Whoa, I'm being pushed. Why am I being pushed? Hmm, must have turned a bit too tight. Anyway, hopefully the sound is better today. Yesterday, it was very loud. You probably noticed, basically what happened was, Steam did an update for my game. I don't know why. I'm assuming everybody else got it as well. And it reset everything to the default settings, which was very frustrating when I had done the video because I realised it had changed the in-game volume, so this one here, volume master from 40, which is what I usually record on, to 80%. So it was the game was twice as loud as it should have been. I'm hoping it wasn't too bad. But certainly before rendering, when I was editing, it didn't sound very good. Now we are going to tow that with the combine. I don't think the pickup is really capable of it. Put it over here in a parking bay. I think we might have to come back for it probably later on. Um, because, yeah, there's no follow me or anything, so we can't get the pickup to follow us back. Now, is there a locking script for the header? I should know this by now. I don't know. Unless it just automatically locks on. Let's just see. Uh, I can't see anything. So I suppose it's just going to automatically stay on, hopefully. Uh, it would be bad if I lost it on the road. But with our driving, it should be okay. 
Um, yes. That didn't really fill me with confidence. Now, this is, oh, you know what? I might have to go around because that is very tight going around there. Especially if someone left those boulders in the way. Yeah, we'll just go out of here. It's going to be a lot easier in the long run. We do have a field which is ready to harvest. With this, it isn't going to take very long. So we'll get it done. And yeah, I do want to work on the next field which we're going to buy. Uh, we need to contract it first of all. Not only to get money from it, but also to push the price of the field down. We need to get a reputation with the farmer. If we try and find a field which is sold by the same farmer as field number 19, I think it was Alex Young, then our reputation will already be quite high with him, so it should be a lot easier to get a better price. We can't just go buying fields every day because we don't have enough money for that. But if we gradually buy some, then yeah, it should be it should be quite good. Now, today I won't be able to do any comment readouts unfortunately because yesterday's video was pretty much all the comments was about entering the giveaway. So it would have just been please enter me into the giveaway and, and that would have been it. So yeah, hopefully in the next Goldcrest Valley video I'll be able to do some more comment readouts. It does seem to be quite a popular thing to do, so I will do it again. Let me change lanes. And when we do finally get back to the farm, we'll do a bit of harvesting. I wonder if Field 24 is owned by Alex Young. Let's have a look. We'll just casually pull over in our combine. If it is, then we should have a bit of a head start here. No, this is James Harris. We have done work for him before. So if we wanted Field 24, then we've got a bit of a start there. However, it would be quite nice to... Oh, I can't see a thing. We we'll just have to hope nobody's there. Uh, we'll have to uh, uh, try and find another field further up the map because I want to do some more spreading out. We don't want to stay just around the farm. We do own field number eight, which is it's a good start, but field number five, that would be fantastic. I wonder how much field number five does cost. That will be very interesting to see. We'll probably have a drive over there later on. Maybe we can do a deal. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just take this header off here. I'll probably take it down the bottom. And then we'll be harvesting field number 15. So for all of you who did enter the giveaway yesterday, thank you very much. We'll be doing the draw in the next Goldcrest Valley video whether it's tomorrow or the next day, we haven't really decided yet, but it'll be in the next one. Uh, there is only one winner for this one, unfortunately, but I'm hoping to do more giveaways in the future, which will give you an opportunity to win FS17 on PC if you don't own it yet. I think a lot of people do own it, but there's always going to be somebody. I, mean, I think a lot of people are waiting for Christmas because not everybody can just immediately buy it. Okay, this is going to be bailed, so we'll make sure it's on the right setting. It is. Yep, that's all good. And here we are. The interior of our Massey Ferguson Combine Harvester. It's all very nice. Although I love Massey Ferguson's, I actually prefer class combines. But obviously there are no class combines in 17. I'm sure there'll be mods very soon, but none by giants. Not yet anyway, unless they do a class DLC. That would be pretty amazing. Right, gotta stop. Let the straw drop out the back, otherwise we spread it over everywhere. Before with a combine of this size, this should only take us about 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll be able to find the next field of choice, which we will be contracting and then buying. 
that lane over there, the track, the farm track is a perfect guide for staying straight. I think one thing that could be improved on is having IC, interactive control, as standard in every vehicle. sure the size of the case's header but this one's 25 feet that should be quite an upgrade yeah I was surprised about the price they were going to give us for the case it was a bit of a, a joke really um, if you look on here yeah 22,779 pounds plus the header at 2,892 pounds 14 feet so we've gained 11 feet that's not too bad Not quite, but almost twice the width. You know what? Have I actually done any straw baling yet? I don't know if I have. I might not have done. So this could be the first time. We've done so much baling with grass, I've sort of got confused and I don't know whether I did the straw baling. I can remember ploughing in a field of straw. Uh, but I can't remember bailing any. I'd usually go down that side, uh, but clearly we're not going to be full this time, so we might as well head down here. In fact, we might fit the whole field into the combine. We shall see. Sixty-three percent full. I'll have to get the trailer lined up. I'll stick it on a worker, going back down over there, so it doesn't stop. By which point, when we get the trailer, it should be ready to unload. Right. So yeah, again we'll go down here. Put it on a worker. Oh, dust. <laughs> and then we'll run over here. Uh, it does mean using that same trailer. The trailers aren't that expensive. So eventually, we'll be able to buy one of those as well. I've got my eye on the, the right one for us. It's, uh, it's a twin axle, rigid. So that should really benefit us. We're going we're gonna to keep this trailer anyway, though, because selling in FS17 just doesn't seem worth it. Nothing is worth enough. So it seems that once you've used a machine, you might as well just keep it. But I suppose it does depend on how, you know, if you, if you really do need the money, then you're going to have to sell something. But ideally we don't have to. The beacon is on. It must be over 80%. driving in the crop. Love the emptying texture here. That looks really good. Looking at the size of this auger, we might even be able to, yeah I think you will, it'll cater to the bigger header, to a 35 foot header. If there is, it would work. Alright, this is barley this field. And that has filled our trailer. Very impressive. Put it in storage just for now. And then, if there is a great demand, we'll be able to sell it at a much higher price.
We'll take over again. Uh, we'll just park the tractor up. That didn't take very long at all. What have we got left over there? I think it is just, yeah, we should get it in one go. Must be about 25 feet. And yeah, it's all going to go in storage, which we'll wait, if we can do, for a great demand. If it ever happens, it seems to be a very high demand for soybeans, but not so much for barley. We'll just have to keep waiting. And yeah, which field do you think we should try and get? I, I just don't know. I mean, I'd love to have a huge field, like field number 5 or 20 or 31. But the price of buying it in the first place is astronomical. We sort of were in a position to get one with a million pounds. Um, but yeah, we wouldn't have been able to buy any of the machinery. Or the sheep. Apparently, once you've got your animals set up, you have a very steady income. And that's when the game becomes a lot easier. It's just getting to that stage. We, we were doing pretty well because we had the benefit of the gold nuggets. But I think without it, it would have been very tough. Uh, and it, we're not actually fitting it in. Not quite. But there is some straw here if we need it. We'll be selling anything we don't need. spin around and finish off. Wage payment? Ah, oh, the workers must be paid hourly then. And we're done. We'll take this back to the farm. We'll keep the header on, as chances are the next field we harvest is going to be somewhere around here. So we won't need to do it on the header trailer. Um, it's just finding space. We do have a lot of space. We've got the grass field over here. It's just, is that the best place for it? I'd love it to be under cover. Actually, we should be able to fit it in there. Oh yeah, let's un unload first of all. It does help. Yes, I think if we put it in there, it's a good place for it. I'm not sure how much is actually in there because we didn't even empty it fully before as the trailer was full. Oh, okay. Not an awful lot then. Once again, we will put this into storage. I don't think, I'm saying this now, but I don't think we'll ever need to buy more silos. Um, chances are, we won't need to store that amount of grain. And technically you can just store it in a shed, which is an okay thing to do. So yeah, I, don't, I think silos are a bit of a waste of money, but we'll see. There wasn't really much in there. Uh, this can go over here. I just don't use this area enough. So most likely, in the next episode, we're bailing that. And, yeah, I, I, we could just use the telehandler to move the bales, because the sell point's only there. So, yeah, using the auto stacker isn't a necessity. reattached to this trailer. There we go. Oh, there we go. And we will put the combine, hopefully, in this shed just here. So what do you think? What do you think to our new combine? I love it. Well, I was bound to say that, but yeah. It's a nice addition to the farm. It does fit. Yep, that's pretty good. No, 
Now, I did have a very sensible comment, and it said to buy everything which you're currently leasing. So, for example, the auto stacker. Very, very good suggestion. We most likely will do it. However, there is one thing which we're not going to buy, and that is this trailer here. We don't need it at all because we now have this trailer. And to be honest, I much prefer the look of this trailer. It just looks a lot better. Where's this trailer from? D, Germany. Uh, so yeah, it's in the wrong country, but oh well, it's fine. Okay, so we've magically, no we haven't, we have not magically appeared. We have just been brought over here by a friend. We're now at the store again. Uh, we're picking up our pickup and we're going to head over to the fields at the top of the map. I would just love to see the price of them really. And if we can work on them, then that would be really good. Um, yeah, if we can expand north, that would be the best thing to do. However, if it means expanding south just to be able to get a good price, then that is what we will have to do. But buying fill number five would be quite interesting. I, I'm not going to say it would be fantastic because it's a lot of work. But yeah, it would certainly be interesting. I think this field on the right hand side for 24. That is quite a likely candidate. As we already know the farmer quite well. Um, but we'll see, we'll have a look. The chickens. Oh, that's a point. We haven't been picking up the chicken eggs. We should do that because although they're not really worth too much money, it is extra money. Now, the first field. Field 13. I think we'll probably ignore that one because, yeah, it's just not a field I've got my eye on too much. Field number 9. That would be interesting to see the price of it because. It doesn't look very big, however, although it's not very wide, it's very long, so it could still be fairly, yes, it's 1.37 hectares. It's not too bad, however, it is worth a lot of money. We're quite well in here though, with Joshua Allen, so that is a possibility, and it's certainly within our price range. It's just not a very impressive field. However, with that being 1,000, well, Pretty much one thousand pounds. This one here, what's going to be four to five hundred thousand? Okay. Okay. Let me just have a sit down. That is. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Who are you? Simon Collins. Okay. Um, that's no joke. Yeah, yeah. I think your price is. To be fair, it is. Uh, oh dear. Wow. That's worn me out, brothers. Almost a million pounds for that field. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it is worth that, who knows. Right. So, after that disaster of a performance looking at that price, what is field number four worth? Um, hmm. Peter Wood, we don't really know you, but your prices are. Yes still quite high. It's just the way it is I think in 17. The land is just worth so much money. I suppose you've always got something to aim for though. You have to keep buying, well you have to keep doing a lot of work to be able to afford just one field. Um, so I think yeah really being able to afford field 8 in the first place was quite good. Which we do own. So yes I think that has pretty much confirmed it. We are going to have to buy field 24. Or field 16. I wonder who owns field 16. That could be potentially quite a good buy. We'll have a look. That's the thing though. You just have to keep doing work for people. Otherwise, chance of being able to afford something or be able to buy something without being ripped off is quite slim. Um, this is... Uh, that's, that's actually not too bad at all. And that's without any discounts. Well, I've jumped back into the pickup, and I think really for 24, that is the most tempting offer. And we can still push that price down quite a bit more yet. So, yeah, let's just keep working on it, and this will be our field very soon.
park this over here. Out of the way. What is it then? We need to do some slurry spreading. That's not a bad tractor. We use the case. And we really don't need to have the front weight. But we might as well just put it on. As it's here. 1600 kilograms added to the weight of the tractor. Off we go. And we don't have much time at all here. I think they must have reduced the amount of time that you get because it just seems a lot tighter than it used to be. It's ever since I had the Steam update. It, I don't think there's been a patch. It's just, yeah, things have changed quite a bit. I know they've reduced the price that you get, the amount of money you get for finishing a job early. That is dramatically reduced. Uh, it's still okay, but it's nothing like it used to be. Seems to be a good working width. We'll definitely get it done in time, but it is a lot tighter than it used to be. I do like this tractor. If we could afford it, we would buy it. Um, <laughs> but we can afford it, but I, just, I can't keep spending money on tractors. We don't need that many. We only have about six, six or seven fields. It's not many at all. What I'm interested in seeing is whether or not they're going to add more jobs to the contracting because at the moment there is cultivating and ploughing and stuff like that but mostly the jobs just seem to be uh, fertilising in all the different forms of it and harvesting. I would love to see, although this is still harvesting, I'd love to see poplar harvesting as a, a contracting job because with poplars you do need a lot of machinery to be able to do it, and then the money you get at the end is pretty horrific. So doing it for somebody else would be quite nice. Also, I don't think you can do silaging either as a job. So that's a shame. But these things might be added in in the future. Giants, if you're watching, please add these things in. I don't know if Giants do watch my videos or not. I know they've watched them in the past, but yeah, as for these ones, I have no idea. almost finished. Head back up once more and that'll be the job done. We should really see the tractor more from the inside. Yeah, seems like a nice tractor. IC would work well here though, we could open the sunroof and stuff. The game does seem to be running a lot smoother as well since my Steam update. I have been able to maintain a very healthy 60 frames per second for a long time. Yeah, you really brought your A game today. Thanks. <laughs> that was quite good. Next job is ploughing. Wow, that is a big plough. And they reckon this is going to take almost 20 minutes. Well, we'll see. And then they give us that little dinky weight. Oh, that is still 1,500 kilograms. Wow. It looks a lot smaller than the other one. Maybe the other one is just filled with water or something because it's cheap. <laughs> I don't think they do that. Our pickup was almost in the way. Now, ploughing and me, you know what I'm like. Um, I will be interested to see my ploughing skills in this field, but using a plough like this is not something I've done much of. So is this even the right way? I think it is. Yeah, it looks right. We shall see. No, 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 no. Don't turn it over. Lower. Almost fell at the first hurdle there. That seems to be relatively straightforward to use. I can't quite see why it's going to take so long. At least it's a different tractor again. T8. 320. There's even a flashing light, a beacon on the plough.
but we don't need to put this up as a Christmas tree in the field. It's a bit wet, it's a bit of a muddy field this. You can see the mud flying off the wheels. Yeah, this is on the top plank, so we don't actually sit in the furrow. Not really sure what's easier. And although we only have small fields, I think that in a way is quite good. As we don't have to spend hours on each job. And my pickup is in the way. Anyway, yes, I'm going to continue off screen doing a bit of this and then I shall return very, very soon with an update on the progress. I seem to be getting the hang of it here. So, yeah, see you in a second. Right, okay, so as you can see, we're doing pretty well here. We have just less than eight minutes left. Um, certainly, we're going to complete it within the time frame. And the bonus, the time bonus should be, should be at least a thousand pounds, I'd hope. But we shall see. It's also not very straight at this end. I don't know why it curved off, but it did do. Uh, so all we have to do now is just get to the end, turn it over, and then finish off. Yeah, I don't know why it curves like that. Must have gone off course. But yeah, this should complete it. Seven minutes remaining there'll be. Just less. Might be exactly seven minutes. Oh, it pretty much was. Well, that's not too bad. Time bonus alone was £2,108. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. We're back at £402,000. And, as you can see, the job has been completed. Very neatly. Not by us. Uh, so what is the next job? The next job is cultivating. And that is with the Matty Ferguson. It doesn't have to be with the Matty Ferguson. JCB. Uh, I always go for, try and go for the biggest piece of equipment. Not that it gets the job done quicker. It's just I find it, it doesn't need a job. Um, so we'll choose next time. For this episode though, I think we're going to have to leave it there. What was the like bar? Yeah, it's going up very slowly. The price is slowly coming down. Uh, but this is certainly going to be our next field. One more thing though. I want to just show you one here. Yes, we now have, well, we had 12 sheep before. Uh, the reproduction rate is increasing. It's still not very impressive, but it is increasing. Uh, they've got dirty very quickly, mucky things. And the pigs, we now have 15 pigs. We only bought nine, so we've already gained six. And I think the pigs are, what, are they 3,000 each? I think they are, roughly. Uh, so that is not bad. I, I can't remember who it was that said it, I'll have to remember next for next time, but yes, you have a very good point saying that when you get the, oh, there I go with the chainsaw, when you get the animals sorted, um, you are sort of on the way to success. So yeah, we'll uh, come back here tomorrow, we'll finish the job in that field, we'll make sure it's all fertilised and seeded before we buy it, but that should be, I thought I was going to crash there. Yeah, it's been a long day. Very tired. Uh, yeah, that should be a very good job done. And we're benefiting ourselves by doing the work under the contracting job rather than doing it ourselves because obviously we won't have to pay for any of the fuel or any of the seed or fertilizer. So yeah, that is all good. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you again soon. Bye for now.